welcome to our Facebook Marketplace page. We have a group on Facebook Marketplace. We'd love to have you come and join us if you're not, not already part of it. A lot of people have been questioning, like, how do I make a spreadsheet or what kind of spreadsheet can I use to keep track of everything? Because we all know that Facebook Marketplace is not providing anything for us to really track what it is that we're doing so this is a very simple spreadsheet that will get you what you need to where you need to go and take care of a lot of stuff i'm going to provide the link below it's free to you uh, just go ahead and click on it keep it change it we're going to start with the date the order number delivered to etc and as it goes it's going to go through all the different things that you need to make your transaction so you know exactly where your books are and know that if it's been paid for, delivered, all of that stuff. So let's start off with the date. Today's date, we're going to put one in that was just put in today, an order, and then we're going to go over to our orders. All right. So let's just start with this one. As you can see right here, I'm just going to be toggling back and forth. You've got an order number, delivered, yes or no. First things first, order number. Just click on it to copy. Once you click on it, it's going to say copied so that you know it's on the clipboard. You're going to come back to the spreadsheet, right click into the box and paste. Now we're using Google Sheets right now. You can very easily use the same spreadsheet. It'll, it has the extension on it that you can use in Excel also. Delivered is going to be no. We just barely put it on there. So it hasn't been delivered yet. Uh, see, it's just marked as shipped. So all of this stuff hasn't happened. We're going to go back over here. The next one is going to be the Facebook name versus the shipping name. So you've got the name, the Facebook name. We're going to copy that. So you're going to highlight it, right click on your mouse, press copy, come back over here, and, and then paste in. And we're basically going, doing that along the whole way. And then when we get to tracking number, the tracking number is going to be down here on the bottom, right there. So you're going to highlight it, right click, come over here, paste it just like we did on all the other ones. Now the price on this one was $10. The fee is 74 cents right here, right there, 74 cents. It should add up to this 1326. Now, for me, uh, because I shipped it myself and I didn't use a Facebook shipping tag, it's going to be more money. But I'll show you how we do that here in just a second. So instead of $10 on here, I'm going to put 14. If you had a tag, I'll show you how it should be otherwise. The fee was 74 cents, which means that Facebook should pay me $13.26. Now it's going to ask me if I've been paid or not. So once Facebook actually pays me for this, then I'm going to go ahead and, and put yes or no. But right now, it's a no. The cost of goods, we can put that in there. Tax collected. Now, um, one thing we want to note, the tax collected on here is 77 cents. So we're going to put in here 77 cents. Um, if you had paid for shipping now for example on this even though they're paying me total i do have some shipping costs i'm going to put the shipping costs of four dollars in here um and then it wants to know the state ship which it said new york now back to what i was talking about as far as tax collected we have what's called nexus now what nexus is is it helps you to establish whether or not taxes do Facebook collects our taxes for us and then sends the money into the states. But it's our responsibility to claim it and say, look, this is what I sold. This is how much was paid in. And so you have to decide whether or not Nexus was established for the states that you sold in. And that's something you want to talk to your accountant about. And it's a totally different video. But it's important to note that it's still our responsibility to do reporting. All right, moving on from that little tangent, um, you have your total costs and then you have your income. So what this will actually do is 
show you what your profit margin is. So your profit margin is going to be, you know, how much you made on it. So if I said my cost of good is $7 on here, then that's going to change my profit margin to 41%. You know, if this was $10, it's going to be 19%. That's what you're going to do. Cost of good is going to be exactly how much you spent for it. So if you bought something at the thrift store and it cost you $5 plus, you know, um, another 50 cents in tax, then your cost of good is going to be $5.50. If you turned around and sold it, you know, for $10 with all your costs and fees, your profit margin would be 53%. So hopefully that's, uh, that all makes sense. Um, this spreadsheet goes right along with exactly how it's viewed so it's just copy and paste as it goes down i'll put the link below so that you can use it at your will and thank you so much for taking the time to listen to our tutorial today mm -hmm.